Hi, I'm Hayley from Parallel Coaching and in this video I'm going to explain what is atherosclerosis and to do that I'm going to use a foam roller and a pair of socks. If you are a visual or kinesthetic learner you're going to really benefit from this analogy because it's going to make sense of that long word atherosclerosis and give it a lot of context as well. And not only that, but if you stay around to the very end of the video, then I've got a special download for you to help your vision as well. Learning point number one, the big picture. So before we go into the nitty gritty detail of atherosclerosis, I want to zoom out a little bit just to give some wider context. So we have lots of different blood vessels in our body and their job is to carry our blood, our oxygen, our nutrients all around our body. Now they are called capillaries, veins and arteries. But today we're going to be mostly talking about coronary arteries. But just know that atherosclerosis can happen to any of those blood vessels, but you're more than likely to hear it being spoken about in relation to coronary arteries. Learning point number two, coronary arteries. So these are little tiny arteries that feed the muscle of the heart itself. So in the same way that we have arteries that feed oxygenated blood to our biceps, to our quads, we also have these little arteries that feed it to the muscle of the heart itself. And that's to allow us to get oxygen to that muscle so it can contract and do its thing. Now that's really important blood flow that we need to be considering and that we need to keep open because if we lack the oxygen and nutrients from getting to that heart, then game over. That means that we're not getting any oxygen to the heart muscle itself, which is essentially a heart attack. Learning point number three. What is atherosclerosis? So atherosclerosis is essentially a buildup of material on the inside of the arteries, which causes a narrowing of the arteries themselves. Now that material is called atheroma. So I want you to see this ball of socks as an atheroma. It's made up of calcium, which hardens, and then it's also made up of fatty deposits, and it's also made up of debris and loose connective fibrous tissue as well. So it's kind of got quite a firmness to it, right? So this ball of socks basically gets floating around inside our blood, inside our arteries. Okay, so bear with me on this. So that's our arteries. Looks really nice and smooth when we're really healthy, no build up. But if we have a buildup of plaques inside our arteries, then it starts to narrow that tube and that availability of, for blood to flow through gets even smaller. So that in itself means that the artery space is narrowed and that is atherosclerosis. So atherosclerosis is the narrowing of, in this case, coronary arteries caused by the buildup of atheroma in the arteries themselves. Turning point number four, why is atherosclerosis so bad? So, first of all, I want you to go back to our artery that we had. Now, imagine this is our artery, it's got good blood flow through it. And now we've got a blockage caused by the atheroma, so now we've got atherosclerosis going on. Now, we're not getting as much blood flow come down to the heart muscle as is needed, which means that we can get a lot of symptoms from that. The first thing to think about is our blood pressure. Our blood pressure in this state is going to be higher than in our healthy state. And that's because if you think about when, let's say, for example, you're driving down a motorway, and as you drive down that motorway, they then start closing off the lanes. Suddenly, all that traffic builds up and it causes excess pressure and congestion. And that's what's happening here because the same amount of volume is trying to get through a smaller space. So our blood pressure is increased, which is hypertension. And that's one result. But the other result is that if this atheroma either builds up, gets bigger, um, it can then have a full, full blockage rather than a partial blockage, which means that no blood's gonna get through. Now, as a result of that blood not being able to get through, the heart's not going to have any oxygen. And if the heart doesn't have any oxygen, it uh, game over. Um, and that means that basically the heart's not going to be able to contract anymore. And we need that to keep beating every second of the day, please. Um, and that is classed as a heart attack or a myocardial infarction. So 
The other thing that can happen is that small parts of the atheroma break off and start going downstream to the smaller, even smaller arteries and can cause a full blockage there, which again is a heart attack. Now those same clots we can get away with in our bicep or in our um, legs, but we can't get away with that in our coronary arteries. And that's why it's so important that we avoid atherosclerosis in coronary arteries and that we need to know about it as well. So there you have it four learning points all about atherosclerosis. You should now feel pretty confident in what it is and how it works within the body, and you'll be ready for that exam. But to test your knowledge, you can download 101 mock questions by hitting the link that's with this video, and that'll help you go through and check your understanding of questions like that with atherosclerosis. Please leave us a quick comment below with your questions and any of the main points that you got from this video that you liked. If you did like this video, then please do give us a little thumbs up like, hit the share button with your friends and also be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.